How would you like to have the secrets to how to communicate with your clients, your family, and your friends? Stay tuned. It's in these four letters. Hey guys, for this week's best practices tip of the week, I just want to let you know we're going to do a five part series, this being the intro to the DISC personality assessment and what this means for you and for your family and your clients. So Dr. William Marston did a book about personality styles back in 1928. And ever since then, people have been creating assessments according to his studies on how to figure out personality styles of the people that we deal with and interact with. But the first person you need to know about is yourself. So it increases your self-knowledge when you know what your personality assessment is on how do you respond to conflict? What motivates you? What causes you stress? And you know, how do you solve problems? It'll also help you improve working relationships. If you're on a team, um, you'll be able to recognize the communication needs of others and how to communicate with them, what's the best way to get them to respond to your communication. Um, it facilitates better teamwork and more productive conflict. You can actually use the disc to uh, communicate upward too. So if, if you are on a team to your team leader or to your managing director or to the owner of the company, and by the way, hi D. So important to know who you're talking to and how they best receive the information. You know, now, of course, I'm going to bring it to a sales edge um, component here. So you are able to get a better communication process with your clients by using the disc personality style. So if you are able to identify that they're a high driver and that they want to be communicated with quickly and they don't want you messing around, you know, to get to the point. Outgoing person, you want to talk to them about fun and events. You know, a nurturer is an S and how they take care of people and they want to be a member of a team. And an analytical, you want numbers driven data. So if you're interested in learning the DISC personality assessment and how it can help you in your personal life and in your business life, become a better communicator, stay tuned. The next four sessions are going to be about each one of these personality styles and how you can communicate with them in a more effective manner. And don't forget, none of this matters if you don't do the work.